Hello my frugal friends and welcome to today's review video on the discount fashion clothing box fashion. I have definitely done a video on them before. I've gotten, I believe, two boxes in the past. And the last time I tried to order them, the way they work is they'll give you like 10 items that they'll email to you and they'll say, hey, pick from these five out of these items that you like and we'll ship them to you. So the last time I did that, I hated all of them. So I canceled the whole thing. I basically had a little bit of credit in my fashion account just sitting there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, let me just order another box and get rid of this credit and cancel this whole thing for good. But I thought I would do like a little bit of a cost breakdown for you guys. Now, they're your standard. It costs like $15 for the styling fee, which you get back in a credit for anything that you keep in the box. I believe you could, if you guys click on my link below, you get the styling fee waived or you get a $20 credit anyway. If you do the box and you hate everything and send it all back, it doesn't cost you anything. What Fashion says is that they are the discount clothing subscription box. If you've watched my videos, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Stitch Fix. They are a little bit more pricey for what you can find at an actual store a lot of the time. Uh, I live in a really small town. I have very few places to shop for clothes. And so for me, it's kind of fun to like get a little something different. So in this box, I have two pairs of pants, one top and two dresses. And honestly, the prices are a little high. I, I really believe that. If I keep all five items, I get a 30% discount, which is slightly better than Stitch Fix at 25% making the total of this box $168. Let's uh, math this real quick. <gasps> if you could hit the buttons right, Christine, oh my word, which makes each piece come down to about $33.75-ish. Now I've already taken a quick peek at this box. There's some hits and misses, so let me just show them to you real quick. Uh, the two pairs of pants, they are the exact same brand, something that's for fashion, but it's 151, and I have, whoops, I have a pair of olive pants and a pair of maroon pants. Now, I already have a pair of maroon pants that I really, really like. I got them from Stitch Fix two years ago and I wear them all the time. So I don't know that I need another pair of maroon pants that look the same, but I'll try them on anyway. Uh, olive green pair, I wanna say I did ask for olive green pants just cause I think it's a cute look. I've been looking for some. I did get some in my last Stitch Fix box, but I didn't feel like the fabric was very good. But at a price of $55 each, I feel like I could go to a department store maybe or Gap or something and get something and try stuff on at the store. But like I said, I don't have a Gap like within, within four hours of where I live. So it's hard for me to do that. But at $55 for pants, if you don't keep all the items, that, that's a touch steep for a discount box, I would say. They do have one of these uh, raglan baseball looking shirts, which I typically like, but this pattern comp combo is totally not my favorite. Like I'm a big fan of stripes and I'm okay with floral, but for some reason this floral, I feel like is the ugliest floral. <laughs> I just feel like this, this floral is very, very ugly. If they had done a different fabric here, it would have made sense, but this does not make sense to me. And without the discount at $39, what? I can find these tops for $22 with no discount at all at my local Down East Outfitters. They do have a website if you wanna check them out, which is actually where I get a lot of mine. And then Down East will text me like a 30% off coupon every once in a while. And so I'll go pick one of these up for about 15 or $16. So for $39 for this like cotton shirt that will pill very soon on an ugly floral. Come on, that's that's pretty high. And two dresses. My dresses are both a size small, but I feel like this one is very, very large. We'll try it on in a second. They're both navy with floral. This one I actually like quite a bit. It's more of a polyester, which doesn't get all wrinkly. I think the floral is very nice and it does have a tie around the waist so I can cinch it pretty good. And it's knee length, I feel like I would wear this one more than I would wear this one. And I know they look probably look very similar, you know, they're both a navy dress, they're both a floral, but you see how the pink on these flowers is like brighter and poppier? I prefer that instead of this like muted color looks more like grandma's dress to me. So let's try these puppies on, shall we? Here are the olive green pants and I gotta say, I don't love these. The fabric is very much like jeggings and they like really flatten my butt out, which is really weird because I actually do have pretty decent junk in the trunk back there, but I feel like it, the crotch is very long, so I have some bagginess here, which is very strange. I mean, they're okay. I just don't feel like they're incredibly flattering, especially for $55. I would definitely want something that I feel like looks really, really good. I am not loving these. They're a touch on the long side also. I, 
even though I'm five foot six, um, carry all of my height in my torso. I actually have a little bit kind of stubby legs. These are a little long and so they're a little bunched at the bottom. I'm not super excited about this, but tell me what you guys think. Dog's barking, I bet someone's at the door. Okay, kind of same story on these. They're a little bit of jegging like, so they're super stretchy. Uh, they also flatten my butt quite a bit. I don't feel like they're super flattering on the legs, especially when I already have another pair that I feel like fit a lot better than this. Long on the ankle, which is fairly standard for me. What do you guys think? I do love the color. That's why I kept the other maroon pants, but I don't know. I just don't love the fit on this particular pair. Okay, I actually don't hate this dress as much as I originally thought I would. It's very, very stretchy. I still don't love the muted pattern of it. I probably would need to wear a tank top under just to bring it up a hair as it does cut quite low. And it's a faux wrap, so there is a tie, but it doesn't actually cinch anything. And I would say, what do you call that? A midi dress, a little bit below the knee, hits kind of around the calf area. Now, I'd rather it hit either here or at the ankle. It's not awful. It's not as bad as I thought. It is a touch baggy here, uh, but not so bad that other people would notice. I think I would notice, but not other people. It's very, very soft and comfortable. Yeah, that's not bad. And because it's stretchy, you could like be pregnant in that. Look at that. You could put on five pounds, lose five pounds, and it would still fit. Okay, I probably need a tank top on that one as well. I like that the sleeves are kind of fluttery. I didn't notice that before. And even though it's a navy, it's more of a springy dress than I thought. Because How the heck is it supposed to tie in the front? In the back. In the back. Come on, Christine, figure this out. I tied it in the back. I don't know if that's right, but that's what we're going with. And this is a true knee length. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. And so I think a really cute pair of sandals and a bright purse, maybe like a short sleeve cardigan. I think this is really cute. I just love the color contrast of the floral and the navy on this one compared to the muted tones of the other one. And I like this, like they took a separate thing and lined it. And this one actually comes with a built-in slip. So it's a little bit of a wrap here, um, but it has a slip built in. So you don't have to like worry about, you know, walking out in the sunshine. You can see the outline of your legs. What are your opinions on this one? Is this a keep? I think it's a fun flirty little dress, not quite appropriate for winter time. Otherwise a pretty solid staple, you know, one piece, throw it on, you're done. And here is the, ugly floral with the cool stripy sleeves. Now this is a shirt that I typically wear a lot of these, like a lot. It's just comfortable, throw it on, you can wear it with shorts in the summertime. I do already own several shirts that are similar to this. I just hate this fabric, unfortunately. This one's cool. Like if this had been a solid fun color with the stripes, I could have gotten behind that, but as it is, what are your thoughts? Should I just get over myself and do the floral? Even though it's not my favorite, I do like the sleeves. What are your thoughts? Now that I've tried all of these items on, tell me what you guys think. What would you keep if this were your box? Do you like any of them? Do you hate all of them? Is Fashion a good price box? I, I'm not thinking so. Like I did try the Nadine West one, which is, I will say definitely cheaper. But like I mentioned in that video, and some people said that I was a little harsh in that video and probably so, the quality was really, really cheap. And so I will say the quality of this dress in particular is very good. The olive pants feels very thick and nice. Still don't know at these prices if you could qualify this box as a discount fashion subscription box. I would say these prices are extremely similar to what I get from Stitch Fix. If you guys want to try any of the boxes that I've done before, um, Stitch Fix, I've done the Wannable a few times, and Fashion, I'll leave all those links down below for if you want to go check them out. You're not required to do so whatsoever. But if you would like to try a box for free, like after the referral credit goes to you, it's basically what it comes out to. Just for funsies, you know, go ahead and do that. I, I think it's a fun little Fun little doodad and I did I did book a stitch fix uh, box should be here in a week it's like like my Christmas present to myself <laughs> actually since I've been doing stitch fix for so long a good part of my wardrobe is stitch fix now I've accumulated all actually these jeans these jeans are from stitch fix like my favorite pair anyway let's stop talking about a different box since we're supposed to be talking about fashion <laughs> I know I said it before but tell me which items you like. Do you want to try the box out yourself? If you've done a different box, tell me which ones are your favorite down below. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next video.